Am I the asshole for calling my husband selfish and saying no to the arrangements he made? I, F33, have been married to my husband, M38, for two years. He has a nine-yo son from his former marriage. He's always been on bad terms with his ex, they had a messy divorce and basically hate each other's guts. It got worse after his ex got remarried. The current problem started when he found out that his ex-wife planned to go on vacation without their son, my stepson. Why? Because her new husband didn't want him to go, probably because it's a romantic getaway. My husband pitched a fit and insisted they take my stepson but she refused. My husband then brought him to stay with us, not his days but I welcomed him and I mad sure to keep him entertained and happy. All was good till I found out that my husband has booked tickets for a vacation to the same place his ex and her new husband were going, same hotel same everything. He booked the tickets in mine, and his son's name only. I was confused, I asked him about it and he said he did this to spite his ex and show her she can't exclude his son from a vacation and who the better parent is. He told me he's, arranged for everything, and all I had to do was take time off work and take his son and go. I was shocked I asked if he was serious and he confirmed it. I went off on him saying I can't just take time off work and go with his son to a place I've never been before just so he could one-up his ex. He ranted about how busy he was otherwise he would have, taken care of this himself, but, sent me instead, I yelled saying I've got a lot on my plate. I work full time, I take care of my cancer strike and mom, I clean, cook and take care of my stepso on top of that. He said my boss will understand if I take time off unlike his but in response I called him selfish and said, no, to this arrangement and told him it was final. He flipped his shit on me then told his son that I just said no to a fun vacation for him funded by his dad. I told him to stop it because I hage commitments and won't risk losing my job over an unexpected vacation and for what? We just got back from one a month ago. He's been ranting about how I'm wasting his time and money by declinging to go. And that his son will hate me for this forever. Not the asshole you are married to a man who hasn't got over his wife, ex, and is willing to hurt his son for some toxic payback. Location flag location flag location flag this will not end well. Run. Not the asshole but hun. He's either still in love with the ex and jealous that she's moved on, or he's got some serious power and control issues that you need to be aware of. If he's acting like this about her, it doesn't bode well for you. Not the asshole. He's trying to use you and his son in his sick game of revenge. If it's so important to f hash k with his ex in this way then he should take his son himself. Not try to bully you into doing it. It's totally AMD completely inappropriate and unhealthy and, frankly, he is being emotionally and psychologically abusive to you. Do you see that? There's s much bigger issue here. Not the asshole. Your husband needs to let go of this obsession with his ex, it's not healthy. Am I the asshole for mocking my annoying coworker after she'd been in an accident? I have a coworker, Hannah, who hates the fact that I come to work by car. Every time I mention traffic, parking or I'm a little late, she goes, why don't you bike to work instead? Or, should have taken the tram, it's immune to traffic, the bike park has plenty of space, etc. It's incredibly annoying and she always does this. A few days ago, a car turned on Hannah while she was riding her bike to work and she suffered some very minor injuries. Nothing serious, just a broken arm and a concussion. Our team put together a little present for her. Everybody wrote a note and another coworker delivered it to Hannah's apartment. My note said, should have come by car. I thought it was a funny joke, but apparently not. It got delivered to her and she told the others, who came to me and called me petty and insensitive and are now acting very cold towards me. I think they are overreacting, it was just a joke. Am I the asshole? Edit. Grammar. You are the asshole. I wouldn't consider a broken arm and a concussion, very minor injuries, what a shitty thing to write. I hope you feel very superior. You are the asshole. A concussion and broken arm are serious. You also know it wasn't just a joke. And dollars to donuts, your coworker makes those comments to you about biking to work not because she's all high and mighty about her mode of transportation, but because she's tired of you being late. Info. Why do you think you're complaining about traffic every day is any less annoying than her suggestions of how you can avoid it? If someone in my office wouldn't shut the fuck up about traffic or parking, I'd probably start stating the obvious, too. You are the asshole, broken bones and concussion aren't, very minor. Broken arm and concussion are not, very minor injuries. You were smug, insensitive and petty. You are the asshole.
Am I the asshole for not wanting my BF's kids to come to my birthday party? Okay, pretty self-explanatory. I, 23, have been the stepmom to my boyfriend's 3-0, two kids for the last few years. Him and BM trade off the kids every week, so last year, we had the kids, they're four and six, for my birthday. No problem, we had a blast, kept it low-key, and I was fine with that. Well this year rolled around and I knew it would be their weekend to be with their mom on my birthday. Great I can plan something with no kids and throw a real party and really relax with drinks and friends and all that good stuff. I'm in my early 20s and I doubt most people my age would feel otherwise. So I decided to rent a really nice place with a pool and just invite all my friends and boyfriend's family, parents, siblings. No kids, seeing as my BFS kids aren't coming either. Well now he tells me that he's going to have the kid's mom drop off the kids at the rental house on my actual birthday, day one of the weekend, and we'll have them for the day, night. I'm really blunt and I told him I was just thinking we could keep it no kids because that was the original plan. Am I the asshole? When we have his kids, I am 100% their mother figure and therefore they need me for everything. I am never alone, my name is always being called, and I just want a weekend, my weekend, where I can let loose and enjoy myself and not have to worry about babysitting. I understand that some of BF's family might come but I don't see how that's excluding the kids if they were already supposed to be at their designated parents' home for that weekend anyway. Well now understandably my boyfriend is very upset, and I don't know if it's just the age difference and maybe he's just far more mature than I. But in my mind I sure as hell will be planning occasional kid-free parties, vacations when I have children of my own. Bottom line is, I just want to cancel the whole thing if it means I have to babysit the entire time and not be able to relax for the party, weekend that I'm literally paying for, for myself. I feel like I deserve it. Plus the kids are always fighting, crying and I just do not feel like dealing with that for one time. Am I the asshole? Update. He is genuinely upset with me now, calling me selfish, that I don't know what it's like to have kids. I'm deliberately excluding them, leaving them out of a fun memory, etc. I'm not sure how that's the case if they weren't originally supposed to be there in the first place, seeing as it's their mom's week. Any thoughts? Not the asshole. Tell your boyfriend to get a babysitter for his kids because you already have plans for that weekend. Not the asshole you planned an adult, no kids activity for your birthday on a weekend your boyfriend does not have his children. He had zero business making arrangements to drop his children off at your adults only party without your knowledge or consent. It's not an age difference thing, it's a mutual respect and courtesy thing and he was not respectful of your plans or courteous to you. Am I the asshole for not paying to remove well on my property so neighbor can replace septic tank? My husband and I would like to get another point of view regarding an issue we are having with our next door neighbor. Little background. We are cordial but not friends. We bought our house 8 years ago, they may be 14. They own a construction landscaping company and have trucks, workers coming on our residential street daily, I assume to pick up work orders. Over the years they have done extensive landscaping to their backyard, using our side yard to get there because they built a huge deck so close to property line. Absolutely gorgeous landscaping. The last two years they started to work on adjacent side yard and we noticed they planted small palms in front of our sprinklers. LSS they thought they had approximately 6 to 8 more feet than they had. This came to light when they moved our sprinklers over when we said something about them planting in front of them. Neighbor approached husband a few weeks ago that they needed a new septic tank and our, unpermitted, well was within 50 feet and would need to be moved. Hubby says we will move it if you pay for it. She says, well it may be an issue since you don't have a permit. We make a few calls, our realtor makes a few calls for us to Septic Co. Owner, it's a small town, and she tells us they can apply for a variance, it had to have been permitted etc etc. We aren't worried. Neighbor knocks on door and hubby and I speak to her. She asks if there's any way we can work with her and her husband because yes, they can apply for a variance but it costs $1,800 and there is no guarantee that county will approve it. She asks if we can just move our well. Hubby says we will if you pay for it. She says she shouldn't have to since we don't have a permit. This is where I may have been an asshole. I did raise my voice and told her we weren't paying for anything. You are trying to make your problem our problem. She said it was our problem because the county now knows we don't have a permit so they may make us move it. We said we had talked to some people and we weren't worried. And I again said, your problem, not ours. Stop trying to make it our problem. She said we may bring legal action. 
We said do what you have to do and slammed door. We found our copy of the permit that former owners left us BTW. Her passive aggressive threat of the permit pissed me off and I did raise my voice to her. So am I the asshole for raising my voice to neighbor? Not the asshole. You have a permitted well. She can make whatever threats she wants. At some point she can either put up the legal action or shut up. Tell her she had threatened legal action so you will not talk to her through anyone but lawyers. And be sure to get one. Not the asshole. You should find out if they got permits for their renovations, cause it sounds like their deck is a little close. NTA. Also don't move the well even if they pay for it without considering how it could impact your home, property, water quality.